You don't know I don't what do. you're talking about. It's against don't company care. policy. You know what? You don't know what you're talking about. Hello, mate. This is Butch. So when will the gym be open? Well, I thought it was a 24-7 kind of place. I really need to work out today. Got to keep up appearances, you know. Okay, there are probably a lot of ways to animate an avatar talking on the phone as he walks, but this is the way I'm going to do it, and uh, hopefully it'll help or it'll clarify an even better way for you. But for now, let's uh, add some animation to our avatar, and uh, we'll do a uh, walk start, let's say. Okay, let's add a walk, and we'll just go ahead and add a second walk after this one. You can add as many as you need for the particular bit of dialogue you're going to be delivering. And then let's go ahead and do a walk end. Okay, so we've added our anim clips. We have four. We have a walk start. We have a walk loop, another walk loop, and then a walk end. So let's go ahead and play from the beginning and decide where we want him to start using the phone. And let's say right along here is good. And so let's bring up the edit motion layer. And then let's position this arm in such a way that he could be utilizing the phone. Now, I want to make it just a little more complicated, so let's pretend he's not good with his thumbs, and he's going to have to use his left arm as well. So, let's bring it up to where he has to uh, tap the phone with his left hand and hold it in the right. So, let's just get it kind of close. And... Like so. And not going to spend too much time, but at least get it in the general area. You'll be able to add keyframes there to uh, make that look somewhat more realistic. Okay. So we have a keyframe there. So let's take a look and see what that does for us. Starts walking and of course gradually starts coming into that position which is a little odd. So what I'm going to do is add a reset keyframe right there. And now he's going to bring it into position. Of course it gets wonky because he's still trying to animate the rest of the body. So let's go to that keyframe. Let's go up here to our anim clip. Let's zoom in a bit. I'm going to use my arrow keys back up. I'm going to right click, break the clip, and once again back up some more to the very beginning of that clip as far as we can. And then I'm going to right click again and say remove left arm, and let's remove the right arm animation. Now let's see what happens. Okay, right, so now we can tweak that keyframe, of course, again some more. Let's go back to that keyframe and uh, position the hands a little better, like so. Okay, and now, of course, he's going to hold that position. We can add some keyframes of him tap tapping on the screen. So as you can see, we've got the two keyframes. We've eliminated the movement from the two arms, but of course when it gets to the second anim clip, the walk loop, it's going to go back to its, uh, 
going to try to animate those arms, but it's referring to this keyframe, so it can't quite do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the control key. I'm going to duplicate this keyframe right here. And I'm going to go here, and I'm going to hit the reset on the anim so everything goes back to normal. Okay. Then goes back to normal. Tap, tap, tap the phone. Okay, now I want him, of course, now to bring the right arm up to talk. So I'm going to add a keyframe right here. I'm going to create a keyframe. And let's just quickly animate this arm into a talking position. Real quick like. Pretty rough, but you can once again, as I say, tweak it. I'll spend a lot more time in the talking position. Get that just like you want it. Okay. All right, so we've got a rough keyframe there. So let's look at our five keyframes now. Okay, he's going to tap, tap on the phone. Bring it up. Then, of course, it goes wonky. So let's go up here now. Right above that keyframe, pretty close. I'm going to now right-click on that clip. Remove the right arm, which is holding the phone. Okay, it goes kind of weird there because of this keyframe here. Let's delete this keyframe. Now, arms are moving correctly. The left arm is swinging like it should. The right arm is holding the phone. We've got the four keyframes. We've eliminated the right movement from this clip. And all is well until we get to our next walk loop. And there, of course, let's go back to the beginning of that loop as close as we can. And we may have to tweak that keyframe just a little bit. And let's right click. Let's remove the motion for the right arm. So, okay, we have removed the motion. Probably want to tweak that keyframe a little bit there. So let's do that, and uh, not a big deal. Like so, and once again, you can tweak it better. But now let's look at that. Holds it up. Talking, talking. Okay, now what about when he takes the phone down? And when he gets through, let's pretend we want him to get through around here. So, let's once again add a reset keyframe right here. Reset, things are down to normal, but look what's going to happen here. We don't want him gradually lowering the phone, we want him to hold it. So let's duplicate that keyframe, hold down the control key, drag it out. And now it's down. Okay, and of course we have a little bit of movement there within that. So what you might need to do, of course, is break it right here. Click on that portion. Go back to the beginning as far as you can. Remove right arm. And now he lowers it. And once again, you might want to tweak that keyframe there. He's got it a little close. So let's tweak that keyframe a little bit better. Right there. And take a look at that. And then he lowers it. Very good. And so here we go in close up. And he's going to, okay. So we want him to look at the phone at some point. So let's make sure we have the actor avatar selected. Let's click down a set free keyframe right there. Then let's do a pick target. And let's do another pick target. So we have two keyframes where he's looking. And then set free. So now, 
going to walk. And we'll add some keyframes there for the hand. He's going to talk. That keyframe's drifting a bit, so we can fix that. Not a problem. And you see, we can add a keyframe there if we needed to. So you can tweak it all along the way, and that's not a big deal. Of course, add your audio track. Very good. Okay, drifting a little bit there. A little too close, so we'll add a keyframe there. Okay, and once again, I would select all the keyframes maybe and do a ease in, ease out. Okay, and that's basically how you might get an avatar to walk and talk on the phone.